okay um basically my pay, my work is uh, uh, makes use of uh, cognitive linguistic framework unlike the previous speaker who's uh, focused more on form my focus is on content i need focus on context specific language use that is uh, i have used corpus data and i have engaged with semantic potential of words and elasticity in meanings in a minute i'll explain that and it goes beyond the traditional count mass dichotomy in accounting for uh, the plurality associated with nouns uh, by uh, considering collective and swarm nouns that also i'll explain uh, the second major theoretical um, part is about diagrammatic diagrammatic iconicity uh, since 2014 15 i've been working in this area of uh you know anmotopoya and uh, um, other uh, uh, ideophones and reduplicate structures that they have um, they are arbitrary that they, they are motivated uh, so that iconicity in relation to uh, quantity quality and what i'm saying quality in quantity uh, a concept that i uh, i hope to be able to explain through this presentation so um coming back to the initial insight about cognitive linguistics why corpus data uh, basically language use constantly changes across situations events states relationships and other needs of the language user and the meaning of a word in an utterance is dependent on the context uh, the same word in another context can mean something else uh, so if you use corpus data uh, and use utterance meaning uh we can talk more about the um, aspect of iconicity and also the um, cognitive linguists have pointed out that introspective linguistic data restrict the range of mental representations we can uh, we build up as we use language uh further in, uh, linguists have been uh, paying more attention to meaning level um, uh, representation but we also have to there is form asymmetry corresponds to frequency asymmetry therefore usage based explanations are necessary uh, instead of just only markedness based explanations then uh, regard to word meaning um, what i said about semantic potential or some uh, theories are calling it meaning potential and elasticity in the meanings that is they are saying that there is a way of using count nouns as mass nouns like say cake and was a some cake kind of a thing and um, also uh, depending upon the context we extend the meaning uh, the potential the the it's not just dictionary meaning uh, we can extend make it elastic uh, some references i'll give later on might uh, elaborate on that lexicon some lexicons of some languages may also have what are known as plural words that is uh, certain numerals quantifiers articles or critics behaving as though they are uh, you know they, they contribute to plurality by themselves uh, then there are something called ample plurals like very then very many like in telugu i will later on show some examples uh, you know rakarakala means variety uh, that kind of plurality is different from uh, regular count based uh double you know doubling of uh, count noun then there are distributive plurals and what are known as swarm words uh, i think the later explanations will uh, hopefully clarify that now coming to the notion of diagrammatic iconicity some of you know that that the that it is a two way distinction between absolute iconicity or imagic iconicity which is associated with uh, anmotopoeia and you know certain ideophones as opposed to that uh, most languages verbal languages deal with relative iconicity where when there is a uh, some kind of correspondence between form 1 and form 2 and the equivalent uh, correspondence with meaning 1 and meaning 2 this applies to reduplication uh, as i will uh, show later on now uh, in, in terms of iconicity of reduplicated nouns the main topic of my presentation uh, if you take up quantity this most of you must be familiar of the quantity principle of iconicity has been there from uh, 70s 80s or even before that that is more of the form standing for more of the meaning is best illustrated in reduplication of a stem like for instance japanese a i mean i don't know how to pronounce it um 
the doubling becomes uh, houses. House becomes houses with the duplication. Or in Korea language, etku trees becomes etku etku is more and more trees, like many trees. But the iconicity uh, of reduplication can also be talked in terms of uh, quality. Uh, so they mostly associated with so-called mass nouns. So Bhaskarao, uh, 1977 has the example. Example of Muddha means lump in Telugu. When you say Muddha Muddha, uh, it is like very lumpy. You know the quality is increased. Uh, uh, similarly, there are reduplicated taste, color, size, uh, words, lexical items which serve quality modification and Abhi 92 has uh, uh, examples from 25 different languages of South, South Asia how quality modifies through, uh, in taste, color, size, um, uh, indicating words. But certain, uh, one point I want to uh, clarify in relation to Telugu is uh, like Muddha, Muddha Muddha becomes very lumpy but there are certain, uh, you know, like say if you take wet um, uh, adjective 30, 30 uh, when you say 30 30, depending upon the context, we, it can mean very wet or somewhat wet. In other words, when you say quality, it doesn't have to be only increase when you talk about iconicity. It can be decrease also, going by the principle of what is called resemblance to the form. So X and X like. Okay. So um, again, depending on the context, it becomes. So in other words, what we have uh, learned is that uh, the original distinction of count and mass, I am not discounting that because count noun has a very designated region where it is bounded. Mass noun on the other hand does not uh, have a specifically bounded region. So that is important but what I am arguing is that we need to consider more typology of nouns itself. And recently uh, Henderson talked about what are known as swarm nouns which are like grow, bouquet, code, swarm. These have inherent plurality, um, you know, like quantity, but they also possess uh, certain spatio-temporal extent or magnitude, okay, uh, which will make them not accessible to senses directly as uh, as it is in count nouns, but they they also do not permit grammar to access the individual units making up. So if you take a grow or something like that. Um, you cannot, uh, you know, say chettu or some, I mean, a tree which is part of a grove. Uh, it, it it cannot be picked out in a sentence separately. Uh, so a grove of trees, for instance, is ungrammatical. Uh, you know, you, you can't make it a singular form. Uh, similarly, if you have a bouquet, if you take out one or two flowers, I mean, take out take the flowers out of the bouquet, it's no more a bouquet. So it has a spatio-temporal dimension which uh, adds quality to iconicity. Um, you, to give examples from Telugu, Guttulu is bunches, Mandalu is hordes, Alalu is waves, Teralu is layers, Keratalu is also uh, you know uh, waves. These are swarm words whose function in uh, uh, especially in determining the plurality uh, dimension of nouns need to be investigated further. And this is one. Uh, so the nominal plurality, uh, I feel these are the areas which are under researched. In other words, plurality of participants, distributed plurals are sometimes called broken or derived plurals, nouns with suffixes, um, multiple plurals or greater plurality. Uh, so like, you know, if you take uh, Telugu, Pule, Pulu, uh, you know, I, the, later on also this example will come, so it will become clearer. Uh, there, there is a um, clipping. A, you know, uh, that is adding plurality. Mm, you can say pulu, which is already plural, there are flowers, but if you say pule pulu, it means so many flowers. Nouns that can be very many or many and varied. Like I said, rakadakala means variety, um, uh, which it sometimes involves quantifiers um, and nouns encoding concepts like time and duration. Uh, detensification instead of intensification uh, like I said the 30-30 example and also there are languages which have plural here tantum that is a noun that is plural in form but singular in meaning like in English pants, scissors that kind of thing I don't think they have like that in Telugu uh, there are also metonymic relation between form and meaning uh, um, as, a, as happens in predicative duplication 
the present study, uh, many previous studies on nominal plurality involving reduplication have indicated that plural reference is not, not uniform across languages or even within a language. There is more complexity to uh, plurality. And I'm hoping that, I, you know, through my presentation, I'll make a minor contribution towards that end. Um, because we, we, we should not stop with mass and count and, uh, you know, assume that count nouns are quant quantity-wise plural and mass nouns are quality um, plural. Uh, so the aim of the present study is, uh, is examine patterns of iconicity associated with different semantic functions of reduplicated nouns occurring in meaningful context in 600 constructions uh, selected from a personally created corpus by me to, uh, in order to demarcate their functional domain. So if you see here, the 600 constructions have representation of all kinds of re reduplication. Full word reduplication like mukalu mukalu many places um, or, uh, um, or full word reduplication with suffix ganta ganta ki every hour full word reduplication with sandhi, uh, ururu, which is entire village, partial word reduplication like tara taraluga, in which tara, um, taram is the base, but in, when you do reduplicate, it loses the final syllable and becomes tara taralu, ga. And then discontinuous reduplication, vana le vanalu, where that le in the middle is the uh, intruding element, um, you know, contribute still, it, it, it's like that pole uh, polu example that is here also excessive rains. Then we are, I, we are, there are also some uh, uh, eco words and compounds. Eco word is nidra, vidra, sleep extra, uh, compound will be ralu, rappalu, they are semantically related, stones and rubble. Uh, but since my focus was not on the structural aspects, I did not go into each one and then give examples. Instead, I classified the 600 constructions into um, basically two types, even though I have put three here. Basically, the uh, top two are, um, you know, the construction allows uh, non reduplicate If you want a non-reduplicated um, noun, uh, it is still grammatical, okay, uh, in, in one category non reduplicated um, eco word and it's still grammatical in this second category. So this first two, that is 127 constructions and 45 constructions. Here you have constructions with non reduplicated norm and reduplicated norm, both are acceptable in language. But a majority, more than 70% of the constructions in Telugu you can only, they are, they are grammatical only if the noun is reduplicated. In other words, it does not permit non reduplicated um, noun. Uh, okay, so that is very uh, interesting. So the first first two categories, 127 plus 45, in 172 tokens, what is happening is these um, permit, uh, they permit uh, unreduplicated noun. Uh, so in brackets, so for instance, we can say, Rattam botlu botlu ga kartondi. But if, suppose you remove one botlu and you say, Rattam botlu ga kartondi, even that is perfectly okay. So you are either saying the blood is flowing in drops or many drops are continuously flowing or Tarichina nela burda ga undi. Burda is uh, mud, muddy. So either you can say, Tarichina nela burda ga undi, means it's muddy. Or you can say it's burda burda ga undi, which means it's very muddy. So here what is happening is it's a quantity based uh, reduplic um, uh, this thing and uh, intensification as well as augmentation. But you also have things like that, uh, you know, aloe ninda pule pulu, means the valley is full of flowers, excessive flowers. I mean, when you say pule pulu, it becomes excessive flowers. Uh, so this will be like to start with greater plural and then you have collective. Collective plural is about, Urlu is plural in the sense already and it is a unity, homogeneous unity by itself. But when you reduplicate it, it becomes Urlaki Urlu Tagalabetetam Vala Nitya Krutya Mayindi. It means it has become their habit to burn village after village, many villages. So this is a collective example of collective plurality. Then you have Soviet Union. You can stop by saying Soviet Union has become pieces. Bukkalayindi. 
okay but you can you know for another uh, sense you can say mukkal chakkalayindi which means it has become many many pieces so this is uh, again a uh, kind of quantity based thing but associative because they are associated mukkalu chakkalu are associated last one is atanu kontalo konta upakaram chesadu konta konta is some if you say kontalo konta it's reduction okay so diminution similarly uh, now coming to the major 70% of the constructions i told you do not permit noun in non be duplicated form so what's happening here is in this category the whole lot of temporal nouns you know kshanam uh, ganta roju dinam uh, you know put lot of temporal nouns that undergo partial duplication and also there are many and varied type of plurals and swarm nouns so th this is the actually main focus of my i mean main interest like that i am trying to share with everyone so if you say dina dinamo digalu padutunna means i uh, worry i worry uh, day after day uh, you can't possibly say dinamo digalu padutunna it it's not it's not it's grammatical ungrammatical similarly raka rakala pula mokkalni konnanu i bought many different flower plants you can't say rakala you have to say raka rakala okay similarly um you have adu gaduguna see this is a spatial noun adu go is foot every step step per foot adu gaduguna meeku sohan kalagali so may you have good fortune at every step you can't say aduguna the totally meaning changes it's totally ungrammatical it will not allow uh, in singular form similarly vaari aakrosham alalu alalu ga egisi padindi means like their anger rose like waves I, you know there is a continuity of this thing and alalu is like that swarm uh, now uh, where there is spatial temporal trace to it which uh, is which is contributing to the plurality uh, so this this is uh, um, because of the 20 minute limitation i have uh, not shared as many examples as i would have liked to but based on the this present uh, this data i would like to say that a functional domain of reduplicated telugu nouns are characterized by three functions quantification increase or decrease in size of the entity denoted by the base intensification increase in quality or uh, degree of the property encoded mostly by mass nouns and distributed distributivity in space and time there are temporal nouns and swarm nouns and uh, the figure i show next summarizes the um uh the quantity that is additive greater plural collective associative diminutive are the quantity based functions of reduplicated nouns in telugu intensification and attenuation is the quality based functions and quality in quantity is those nouns which have spatio temporal traces uh, inherent plurality and they mostly deal with distributivity um Thank you. And these are some references, uh, especially. Thank you, Professor Ramam. Yeah, yeah.